Hey, Bushcraft family, back again. And it being Monday, it's time for the a weekly market review. And everybody seems to be enjoying this from what I've been gathering. Um, and it's it's kind of good because right now it's actually caught up. Um, the first week I did it was it was a couple weeks behind already. Um, but now they're caught up. It's it came out the twenty second, which was Thursday. So that's that's really good. Um, again, a, f a few things will be behind, like the the weather and stuff. But I, I don't actually I don't know. We'll have to ch check this. I haven't even looked at this myself, so we'll have to see. Um, and I have I have seen prices going up on some of the things that have been on this uh, the list, um, like for bananas. Um, bananas have went up a good 20, 30 cents up per pound. Um, and avocados, avocados have went up too, because they were, they were, um, 79 cents at Walmart and they're up to a dollar 10, dollar 20 at the moment. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Let me go and switch this over. Yay, it switched over. Okay. But as you can see here, well, we'll go over that in a minute. Um, again, this is for April 22nd. Except for a few shippers still shipping lettuce out of Huron. I, I guess that's how you say it. The summer transition to Salinas uh, will be complete after this weekend. Greengate is the last shipper to transition and they will be starting in Salinas on Monday the 25th today <laughs> wait today's 26 though oh they messed up yeah okay supply and quality are good on most items and the pole cu cucumber market has turned as transitions growing regions while dealing with exiting crops that were affected by cooler weather uh, yep they're, they're having issues with cool cold, cold weather too um i wonder if that was due to that that vortex or whatever it was that came through um, where we at? Uh, we should see tighter markets for the next two weeks. Banana market remains firm due to force of. Um, oh, somebody told me what this, how to pronounce that and everything, and I. Um, being declared by major global banana suppliers, Grower, growers have suffered major damage to crops and infrastructure causing a large ripple in the chain or supply chain. We expect an escalated banana market through at least the first quarter of 2021. Yeah, this is pretty much the same thing. Um, again, uh, they're, they're talking about, we do exp ex expect a very active lime market through the end of May. Okay, so that 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 changed a little bit from before. Avocados are becoming extremely tight due to the higher demand um, and lower volume estimates coming out of Mexico due to yield loss. California est, est, estimates. I'll get it out. Were rev revised down and expect a very active market until Peru Peruvian I'll get it I'll get it I'll get it <laughs> fruit arise late May freight rates are skyrocketing due to shortage of equipment and rising fuel prices we will remain or we will start to see um, some transition in bell peppers, bell pepper supply from Mexico 
to Coachella over the next few weeks. Okay. We got it out. <laughs> we got that out. Avocados, again, are, are escalated. Um, berries, again, escalated. Bananas, uh, act of God stuff. Carrots, or jumbo carrots are escalated. And we have garlic is extreme. And um, yeah, I've, I've noticed garlic, except for the stuff that's prepackaged. Sorry. Um, yeah, just fresh garlic right on the shelf and whatnot has went up quite a bit. Um, see, every time they sit there and just make noise whenever I start recording. Ginger extreme, limes, act of, act of God again. Pears, small sizes, extreme. Okay, that's that's a new one. Uh, cucumbers and pears are new this week. So, um, if you want pears or cucumbers, you can go out and get them now because, um, yeah. So far, everything that that this market has been saying, um from the first week that I've I read it um, it's it's come come about um, within two three weeks so what it seems like when when they they start saying this and it it could be just um, the area like if you're closer to California or in California and this market and this came out on Thursday you would probably see it within a week now I'm in Ohio, so I probably won't see it for a good while. So that's that's something to consider from where where you're at in the country, I suppose. And um, here we go. Freight rates are at a all time high due to record demand for trucks and drivers as nations emerge um, from the COVID. I say it every time. Hopefully, I don't get a get a, a bad mark from uh, Mr. YouTube. Programs such as the USDA box program, um, jabby 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 wonkies distributions, and FEMA jumping in to provide emergency supplies to those in need. So, basically what they're getting at is, uh, the medicine people need, um, needing to get shipped all over the place. Um, drivers are, are being pulled to do that. So, that leaves less drivers and trucks for produce and food and stuff that's that's what I'm getting at or that's what I, I feel that they're getting at um, um, where are we at market average available driving cost up yeah um, unfortunately we do not see any relief on the horizon as our industry is set to transition from Yuma to Salinas, um, which is expected to drive rates even higher. Ooh. Uh, national fuel prices have been jumping daily since January 4th. The national average price per gallon for fuel has increased over 20% from 264 per gallon to 316 per gallon. Now, I've had people tell me in California that it's well into $4 and higher for gas. I'm, I'm complaining about my gas being um, 289 at the moment now. Um, yeah, uh, per gallon with the East Coast averaging 316 a gallon and California averaging 3 
98. Produce Alliance and its members are working to no negotiate the best freight rates with the most reliable freight companies. We thank you for your partnership as we... Okay, we don't need to read that part. Um, here's the weather. Okay, so... Oh, the, and the weather is actually up to date now. Look at this. Um, look, at, look at these lovely weather... Um, which our weather here in Ohio, um, tomorrow it's going to be 80 degrees. Oh, it's about time. I'm going to start moving some plants outside so they can get some of that fresh natural sunlight. Um, uh, but yeah, um, California 61. Oh, that kind of seems a little low. That must be the northern part of California or something. Um, Let's see, Yuma. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's it it goes up here too a little bit, not much, but it's looking good. Um, good buys. Each week, our team spotlights commodities based on how favorable prices, quality, and supply are in the market. Stay ahead of trends and look for those good buys for the for their seller seller performance in the fields please see each individual product for more information below hey sell down see every time they'll be nice and quiet and then i start recording but anyway let's just jump to it eggplant florida supplies remain steady and quality improves. <laughs> oh, cats. <laughs> um, <laughs> quality improves now that we have transitioned to newer blocks. Mexican crossings are expected to remain stable this week as well. We are seeing a few growers scratch eggplants in Coachella. Okay, guys, we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, cats are being a wordery. Um, let's go ahead and jump down to uh, On the Horizon, um, the new f stone fruit out of California. Um, we expect to see first picks of apricots by the first week of May, followed by peaches and nectarines the second week of, week of May. The move to um, Coachella. We begin. Well, we don't need to read that. It's it's just them moving. I don't think there's anything in there. Green bells mixed with chilies and stuff like that. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and jump down to here. Um, oh, red peppers. Okay. So basically all this is so I, I don't think we're kind of worried about this too much it's just um explaining the new stuff coming and stuff like that that it's not nothing like shortage or anything like that so we're not going to worry about that too much and this continues this the southeastern fruit new crops of watermelons yeah this is this is stuff that's coming up um Avocados, again, are uh, escalated. Volumes will continue to tighten up, um, pushing FOB prices higher as we see lighter numbers crossing from Mexico due to revised volumes and higher demand. We continue to observe the spring crop as we see losses due to freezing temps in the region earlier this in the year. Uh, Revisions to California avocados estimates have been down. We expect active markets until we see the relief from Peru in late May. So more than likely, we're not going to see too much. It, prices will go up on avocados or um, you just won't see them as much for those avocado eaters out there. 
Um, I mean, I like avocados. I like having avocados on toast in the morning. Um, but anyways, let's get back to this. Bananas, act of God. We have seen in, an increase in demand as the weather is getting better in the U.S., we are working to fill our D.C. pipeline in response. Even though this process takes longer on the special, specialty bananas, we do not anticipate any shortages. Um, we see no issues with supplies on 40 pound bananas 40 pound bananas that might be a bundle or something supply is still lower due to the hurricanes in 2020 quality should not be an issue at this time so it says there are not going to be no shortages but it, we see we're already seeing the price go up. I don't know if it's all over, but in my neck of the woods, um, bananas have went up at least 20, 20 cents since uh, I've first started doing these reports. Um, pineapples, and I did get a for, uh, misfit market. I did get a uh, pretty small pineapple, um, so I don't know if that's a normal. Or, or what around but pineapples uh, volumes on smaller sizes are available while large size pineapples are still below normal volumes although they are picking back up some okay so it seems pineapples are going up some whatever that is um, grapes red grape market continues to be lower than expected we are seeing a two-tier market on west coast where slow markets have caused older inventory to be priced lower um, but quality is poor on those new good quality grapes have a higher price attached so there you have it and grapes um, I don't know if that counts for like um, winemakers and stuff like that I don't know if this is the grapes that you eat or is the grapes that um, for wineries and stuff blueberries are on the watch list um, the the Mexican season will continue with gradually decreasing volumes into the spring uh, Baja volume will continue with stable and increase in production. The Florida volume are projected to pick up strong productions in the weeks ahead. Georgia production starting this week with light volumes. Okay. Uh, blackberries, it looks like it's the same, pretty much the same reason on the what oh raspberries we continue to see a very light supply on raspberries out of all areas market is currently demand exceeded exceeds supply and looks to continue through the next week as we get into the first weeks of may we anticipate anticipate supply to increase with good quality strawberries are escalated and that's probably pretty much the same thing um, volumes increase demand for mother's day hmm. people get a lot of strawberries for mother's day hmm. grapefruit um, california grapefruit is available riverside and in the central valley Fruit is peaking on smaller sizes, 40, 48, 46, mostly fancy grade. Um, lemons, minimal issues looks like. Limes, we've went over this before. Um, 
Yeah, but they said, didn't they say it was coming back up? I do believe. Now I'm getting weird noises out, outside. Okay. Um, imports, all these sizes look good. Mostly guys, most guys are f are finishing up. Some small sizes still available. Okay, hopefully you guys are not hearing that noise is coming outside. <laughs> well, I'm getting everything today. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, green leaf. <clears throat> this is West Coast lettuce. Um, green leaf, good volumes, and good quality. The market is steady. <laughs> Sorry for the noises, guys. Butter st is uh, butter lettuce is steady. Uh, iceberg good. Romaine good volumes, good quality. That's good. So our, our greens are doing good. Peppers, green peppers um, continues to improve out of South Florida. And overall, quality is good on all sizes. In the West, we are seeing a, the gradual decline in the winter crop out of Sinaloa. Sinaloa. I'm butchering the hell, heck out of those uh, those uh, names there. <laughs> and we'll begin to transition to Coachella over the next... Um, seven to 14 days quality will be mixed out of mexico and new crops out of Coachella is looking great good and this is the color of the peppers and stuff excellent yeah okay mixed chilies uh east good volumes yeah looks good eggplant um i think they touched about this a little bit up there a little bit everything looks stable and everything at the moment and here comes the cucumbers uh, escalated uh, Florida volume is very short this week as we are seeing lower production yields results from cooler weather that hit the region earlier in the month we hope to see supply improve over the next two weeks Mexican crossings are lighter as season winds winds down and growers are walking away from the older blocks due to quality issues we are starting to see a few cucumbers crossing through Ote but will not see relief for several weeks Quality is hit and miss, and FOB prices are unchanged this week. So, yeah, it looks cucumbers are until um, I guess we get caught up in Florida. Um, cucumbers going to see an issue with cucumbers. So be warned for cucumbers. <clears throat> But hopefully, um, like people in the south have already got their cucumbers in the ground more than likely. So if you're growing stuff, you don't have to worry about it as much. If if you're the people out there that are not growing, then so this is a little hint. Grow some food. Uh, English cucumbers um, increase as a week demands increases due to lower supply on pole cucumbers quality remains strong pickles remain improve out of mexico we see new crops volume over florida yeah pretty much the same thing green beans on the watch list hmm. due to mix recent rain uh, we should see some relief over the next 10 to 14 days as transition to South Georgia begins. The Gallus, 
supply is being beginning to wind down we will start to see transition to the desert over the next seven to ten days um, french beans good zucchini looks good melons um it looks like it's study honeydews overall continues to discreet dis love you decrease over the next past week with very good demand from all parts of the country as mexico supply or mexican supply crosses into nogales remains limited my reading is horrible today classic fruit has had a good mix of sizing with the majority of production being the five six and eight whatever that they it's probably just some size thing that they have going on recent honeydew arrivals have shown good quality both externally and internally okay good good oh we're in the herbs Oh, watermelons on the watch list. Hmm. Market seems to be um, easily back as more volume becomes available out of Florida while crossing from Mexico were lighter this week. Um, quality is very nice out of Florida. Okay, it's nice. Okay, let's look at um, our herbs. Everything looks steady, good, and a uh, very limited lime leaves again. So lime leaves look like it's uh, down pretty good. Everything else looks really good, though. Look at that. Artichokes, quality excellent. Arugula. Uh, asparagus looks good. Bok choy. It's plentiful and broccoli and broccoliette flowers or whatever they call them. Florets. Brussels sprouts. Steady. Uh, green ca cabbage looks good. Again, here with the carrots. We're going to just see smaller sizes as, as before. Um, limited sizing on jumbos in California fields. Therefore, the light carrot sticks come from the jumbo jumbos uh so supply on light on sticks so it's it's probably those little ones that you get in the store that's already been cleaned and rounded and stuff but i don't know i, I like eating a regular carrot i know i'm never a fan of those ones in the bag they just i don't know they just don't taste the same Cauliflower lighter than expected supply. Market will continue strong into next week as cooler weather has slowed. Production quality is good. Okay. So supply is a little bit, but quality is good. Celery looks good. Corn. Um, here we go with the corn again. Um, we are seeing split market on corn in East prices are down uh, and quality is good as we see more production available in the West volume it is windling down out of Mexico as the season winds down and transition to control Coachella begins we expect to see prices firm back up as demand will soon be begin from Cinco de Mayo and Memorial Day. Retail ads that on the rising. Okay. Okay. We have um, cilantro is good. Again with the garlic. Um, it's it's just bad production California and um, Mexico. 
or having issues with it. Um, ginger is the same thing. Uh, ginger remains very volatile also due to inconsistency supply and market is higher. Supply to remain tight for the foreseen future. Green onions look good. Uh, kale, mushroom, mushrooms on the watch list. And I, I really need to get into seeing how to do mushrooms. I'm really interested in, so I'm going to start doing some research on it. Um, maybe growing some mushrooms in the basement. We'll see. Uh, Napa, okay. Everything else looks good. Um, snow peas, good and steady volume, good quality, good. Sugar peas, tight volume, but good quality. Spinach, looks good. Everything looks good. Sweet potatoes. Um, they did, were concerned about sweet potatoes last week, but it looks like it's, um, looks like it a little bit better. Onions, FOB pricing remains stagnant on three, all three colors at the moment. Okay, so, yeah, kind of looks like uh, onions are fine. Potatoes, um, potatoes are another story. And as, you, as you see a little bit in here, they're talking about um, the shipping. Shipping, it's a little bit different shipping potatoes than it is the other stuff because it's cats 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 okay tomatoes i know florida is ramping up right now yeah florida supply has firmed up this week and fob prices were higher due to rain delays but expect to expect volume to pick back up this week we may see a some minor rain related quality issues short term okay and it's pretty much the same for all these different types of tomatoes okay apples are still on the watch list granny smith remains tight especially on smaller sizes east coast growers will have minimal availability through may imports Import apples will start arriving at the end of this month on the East Coast. Uh, pears. Uh, extreme on small sizes. S small pear remains tight throughout through August. Imports are available on the East Coast. Stone fruit. Um, looks good. Cherries limited. Supply available. Uh, key rate. Kiwi, uh, study supply, looks good. Um, oh, guys, we are at the end of the list. We are done. Um, we had a couple interruptions and stuff, and my reading was horrible. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, but it kind of looks like everything's pretty much on the same lines through the, the month of April it seems so hopefully we'll see what uh the next report entails but um the only thing i'm uh a little worried about is um if you've seen one of my last videos was about the the drought that's coming to california where they're, they're anticipating um so I've been praying that we get some some rain down there, so uh, there it it's not as bad as it they're projecting. Um, they're already talking about farmers um, having to use fifty percent less water for their crops. So that means either crops are going to die or they're just going to be smaller for just because of lack of water. But, um, yeah, a lot of people were saying, oh, we've been through droughts and stuff before. But, yeah, you have. But that's a different story for farmers. Um, that's where our food comes from a lot of times in California. I, I know there's other places like Florida and stuff like that. But 
all it takes is one thing happening at one place, one thing happening somewhere else, and um, we're back to shortages on something. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump off here. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, comment. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you do, just say, hey, I'm new. Um, and I'll welcome you in chat or in the comments and whatnot. That way it locks it in place. Uh, YouTube can't steal it from me. Until next time, guys, uh, like always, God bless.